Hey guys. I'm the Gaps and today I will show you how to create custom ad messages with multiple styles on the same device. Creators have already explained this before, but some of you still ask me how I made it on my maps. This is not hard but can be kinda confusing. Just a quick note, if you don't have the closing tags on your keyboard, try Alt plus 60 or Alt plus 62 on the numpad or search on the internet. First, let's grab the add message device and make some quick changes. I will set the time from round start to 1 second. This is not necessary, it's just so we don't need to wait 10 seconds before the text pops up. What most people do is just set the text style to whatever they want, because they probably don't know how to format text, but doing this limits us to one text style per message. So, how do I format text? To format text, you need to write specific elements on the message gap, using multiple devices with spaces whenever you want to change the text styles doesn't work. To prevent reaching the character limit, set the first style you want on the device option. What does this mean? Instead of selecting text style default and writing the text style element closing tags intro, you can just select text style bold blue and save some text. On the right side of the video you can see every formatting possibility and the element for each one. You can also visit this Google document link on the description. Whenever you want to switch text styles, write the closing tags and place the new styles element. Do not do this if it is the last quote. If you want to do something more complex with multiple lines as I did on my Murder Mysteries role explanation, you just need a special character that you can get from this site, both link and character will be in the description. In this example, I will just write the text and skip the lines, because of a keyboard issue that doesn't let me to write the respective elements. The full formatting of the detective role will be on the screen and on the description so you can copy it. And that's it! Please comment ideas for future maps or videos, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and following my social medias. Thanks for watching and see you later!